Hello viewer, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to georefer using QGIS software. Basically, georeferencing is a process of establishing a mathematical relationship between the image coordinator system and the real world spatial coordinator system. This mathematical relationship can be assigned by any of the transform setting in QGIS system, like in layer case, you, you will find one tab georeferencer you can find same thing in raster plugin also then go to georeferencer then this pop-up will be open then you can open it by clicking this open raster or you can clicking this file so in file you can find the same open raster so last day i have downloaded one topo sheet so this one topo sheet i'll show today how we can geo refer this topo sheet using qgis software so under this qgis plugin geo referencer we can easily establish this mathematical relationship so in qgis plugin we can find one tab transforming we can find here various type of transformation setting like polynomial order 1, polynomial order 2 or 3 or we can find also linear, projective and thin plate spline. Nowadays, polynomial order 2 is the most widely used transformation in georeferencing. Although recently thin plate spline gaining popularity due to its ability to incorporate the local deformation in the data. This is a very useful when you are dealing with the low resolution data. However, in the practical, we are using traditional polynomial order 2 transformation to perform georeferencing or rectification in a topo sheet. So, in our case, go to here, this is a transformation system setting. We can find here polynomial 1, 2, 3, thin plate, projective, linear. So I'm going to select polynomial 2. If you select polynomial 2, then you have to take ground control point or GCP point at least 6 plus 1. You have to select your projection system like WGS84. Output location, we have to select your output location. Suppose I want to save it here in my D folder or you can change here the name, modify 2 like this just save it then here is simple you can select nearest neighbor linear cubic nearest neighbor is popular one so i'm going to select it just select it use zero for transformation when needed okay then just save it i want to save this is gcp point load in project when done and click it okay now here the option you can find add data then this is open vector then the start geo processing, generate GTA, load GCP point. If already you have some point, then you can, you can use this. Uh, save GCP point. In here, important tool, add point. So we can add here point. Just click it over here. And this this call pan tool, this call zoom in and zoom out. So I need to zoom in. Need to know about this latitude and longitude so just click it now here at point just click over here at point and then easting and nothing in case of easting if you are using degree then you have to use space or if you use decimal then 87.25 then you have to use this point like this way Okay, in case of nothing, similar way, 23.45 means 75. Okay, just click it. Okay, this is our first point. Similar way, we can take other point. This one, I want to take another point here. 87.15. Easting will be changed and nothing will be same, 23.45. So, just click it over here. Again. 87.20 so 
Uh, you can use Google. The search degree to decimal converter. You can find online tool how you can change it. Suppose degree 87 20 minute. Okay, just convert it. Now see 0.333 degree. So we can use it. 87.12345. Nothing will be same 23.75 okay just click it okay okay we'll take another point here 87.30 that's when 50 and 23.75 okay now next one now nothing will be changed this is 40 87.50 and this one 23.40 so let's change it for 0 that's been 66667 okay point six 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 seven. Now next one twenty three point eighty seven point five zero and nothing twenty three point five zero. Okay. This one twenty. Eighty seven point two zero two zero mean point three 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 and twenty three point five zero this one eighty seven point two five 87, point, 87 degree 15 minute that's when 87.25 and this one 23 degree 30 minute that's when 50 okay now eastern will be changed 15 minute 23.30 so i'll take this one 87 and 23.35 35 mean convert this 5 8 triple 3 okay 5 8 1 2 3 done now see this is residual so total residual mean error point zero five seven six three two. see this one transformation polynomial to mean error 0 0.517632 it should be less than 1 if it is less than 1 then it is ok then just go to here start geoprocessing it will take time if it is more than 1 then you have to delete again this point and you have to do it again so now georeferencing done georeferencing successful now we can find here latitude longitude just see here close this it is already open here see here if you go here then it shows latitude longitude here this is latitude longitude if you go here then it will be changed so it is already choose referred now we can digitize it in the next tutorial i'll show how can we digitize this images thank you so much for your support and love please subscribe my channel and be updated